All right, guys, we back in the basin, 2022. Get Bara, my boy right here. We just gonna do a short run today. What you think? How many sacks are we trying to get? Eight or 10. Eight or 10. Short run. Yesterday, he's catching double that normally, or a lot more than that. Uh, so Y'all stay tuned. I was raised down the Lucy head, down on the black bayou, where we black our swamps and alligators, love our coffees too. Got that feeling gumbo running through our veins. It's our feet dancing with you. Hear that little play. We love to hear that fake music down at the Sando Door. Dancing with our sweethearts. Just a little the good times go. We know it's got first and then how we do it. Bring up the Sack on the top. Oh. <laughs> Probably run in the marsh. <laughs> that's a low. ditch. That's where the edge. <laughs> the best one so far. I think we want to go down, Ken. It will be like that any better. They're gonna have so much in there, it'd be hard to dump them. Oh. 20 pounds or better. I have to put me a little winch on my boat to load them. <laughs> like your crab traps? You got that winch on your crab traps? Boat? Yeah, I got a little pot boat. Yeah. So you don't have right. to pull that in. Oh, How many crab oh. traps are you running? Oh, I got 450. Oh, yeah. I used to pull it by hand. Oh. All by hand. I looked like Popeye when I was fishing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be doing a crabbing trip pretty soon, maybe a shrimping too. He's catching. Yeah. How, many, how much shrimp you caught the other day when you went? All right, the first day I ate like a thousand pounds. You know, the second day I had about seven or eight hundred something like that. And I heard they were big shrimp. Huh? Yeah, they're nice. Looking good for the shrimp because it's salt. I mean, it's drop. We want drop. We had, had no rain this year, man. No, no rain. That's good for shrimp and crab. So what made you go with a Honda the first time? What, I mean, you just well, bought it and tried it? I had a Mercury, and I'd stay at the shop. So I told my cousin, he was a mechanic, 
I said, Freddy, just build me a shop over here. I could live, I live over here with my America. I stay broken. I want to stay in the water. So I went by me a Honda. Now I stay in the water. I don't stay at the shop. I don't know what wow. a shop looks like. Stay in the water with a Honda. Look. Dude, never had issues with that thing? Never. Never. And I run it hard. I run four firing traps every day. I crab. I do all kind of stuff with and it. And you have that Can't on. kill it. Can't kill it. That's the best one I ever had in my life. I had quite a few. Wow. Mercury's, Yamaha. Can't compete with this one. That's saying a lot. It's got the power with turn sharp. Easy to handle. And it takes the abuse, huh? Yeah. All the in and out of beat. gear. Commercial fishing is hard on the motor. Stop and go reverse. Yeah, and, shift. Uh, the shift We've is shifted a big so deal. many times, you know? Don't miss a lick. Is you buying them Mercury's right now? Brand new, they, they break it down. The carriers are falling, falling out. That's this one. Crank and go. I did get a lot of comments in that last video on yeah. good comments on the motor. People couldn't believe what it was going through. That's the reason why it goes so good through the vegetation. Because it's that hunk, that Mercury can't do that. Run factory screens. The Mercury, got a, you got a well screen on there because you'll plug up the compressor. You know, they, you'll plug up. This one, factory screens. Right out the factory. Huh? It, 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 vegetation, don't plug up. Is there some other fishermen using Hondas too? Or oh, yeah, you, it, it's starting again. All the crabbers, that was all Yamaha people. All them crabbers, that's all Hondas now. They all switched to Hondas. Oh, wow. Yeah. They catching on. Watching them videos. Yeah. I mean, we like to go American made, but dude, if it's that important yeah. in your business yeah. and yeah. save you guys. Well, I can't have a breakdown. You, you, you can't, can't have, have breakdowns. Break I mean, breakdown that's it costs money. You lose your day, you gotta go to the shop, hope you get it ready for tomorrow. Right, right. Sometimes it takes you a week to get it, you know? Right now, I order the more, it takes three months to get it. If I have a major breakdown right now, I'd yeah. get a bind. Dude, that's like with the four wheelers. Nobody can compete yeah. with the Honda. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's. Yeah. You know, My bike's they know 22 what years doing. old, have a Dude, Honda. Those 300s last forever. Still going. You can't kill them, so. They yeah. definitely know how to build them. That's a good. Now, like, Kip, I know you drink a lot. How are you handling this? By the hair? By the ears. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've seen that liquor bottle. Tied to the yeah. tree the other day. I, was, I, was, I used to catch like 40 50 sacks a day when I started drinking liquor. I was down to 20. <laughs> so I started drinking Coors Light and I'm back in the 50s. Oh, good. <laughs> we gonna promote Coors Light too while we're here? Yeah, Coors Light. That's the number one beer. <laughs> hey, my brother in law's uh, Big Low Ultra, so I gotta oh, yeah. be careful. That's close on that enough. Line. Yeah. Yeah, put him in we there could, too. Yeah. Cool. Let's echo it in. That's a good gauge. Holy moly. Tell us about this seven footer again. Look at this, guys. This thing is like, he's trying to keep it out the water so the crawfish. You gotta stick out the water. You'll die. Five footers are two feet underneath the water. Deep. You gotta be able to stick out. It'll die. Roger. Water's too high. It needs to go down. It's going to stand for three months now. Man. It's expensive. Cool. Look at the size of these cages Kip was just explaining. These are seven footers. Twenty-two dollars a trap. Yeah. Well, if you build it yourself, you can save a little money. Right, right. I got guys that build them for me. Right. Well, I'm time, I got two jobs already. <laughs> you got a few jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a seven-foot trap, but I have two hundred, almost three hundred right now. First time you ever used it. First huh? time I ever used a seven-foot. Never needed that. You can always save them in the muddy water, but the muddy water don't want to run. It's too much fish. I don't know what it is. Right, right. There's so much fish, the rubbish won't come out. I got you. When they 
gets low and clear, all the fish move out and the crawfish will come out. It's crazy how it is today. You gotta adapt, huh? 20 years ago, there was no fish again, like you have, have now. You go in the muddy water, it was like two to the sack. Eat me. Come in, we'll find muddy water, two to the sack. Kill up the boat. Wow. But not, not the date. There's so much uh, fish in that water and chemicals. You don't want that water. Right. You gotta go in the black water. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the crawfish trying to get air in here. Let me get a little clip of that. See how they're trying to get air? Yeah, you see? They, they're jamming them. The water's coming up, they're feeling it. Look like me in my dog cage. <laughs> God, that thing's got a bunch of crawfish in it, too. Did y'all notice he has a different grader? The last time, explain that why this one's different. Well, the reason why they're all big this year. Last year it's small, you have to grade them, but this year it's almost straight dump select. We don't have to grade them because so they're you all can, big. Right, and you get a set price for the yeah. whole catch. Well, that's good. Last year it was all small stuff, so we had to grade them. You get a decent price. But this year is different. You got a price, it just needs to fall. We've been waiting I think, for three months now. Man, I think I saw next week it might drop a little bit. After this huh? little bump, they should start falling. Because Tiro dropped like 10 feet in three days. Okay. It was at 40, but it went to 30. Right. Like it 20 feet in another two, three days. So that fall is going to hit us about another week from now. Right. Just to get some more additional rain. If we don't, yeah. it's going to start to drop quick after about a week. And we're going to start saving some property. Yeah. Now, gotta just weed it out. You, you, you might have to go crabbing or shrimping while you wait yeah. for the, the, the bass to drop. Frog traps? Frog traps? Yeah, they, they work pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went shrimping, I couldn't make no money, so I'm gonna go try stripping. Stripping? <laughs> 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 I've been practicing. <laughs> Mocks you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, my sweet corn is probably two weeks out before I'll be picking some. Oh, yeah. I have an obsession to sweet corn. Dude, it's so good. Oh, yeah. So I used to grow corn, but uh, they slaughtered all them cows. I can't get that cow manure no more, so I shut the corn down. <laughs> These flowers are pretty. Yeah, they are. I planted that last week. They grew already. You planted that last week? Last week. Cool. I used that cow manure. Same thing <laughs> I used for corn. <laughs> Dude, how many acres of flowers? 
Oh, I got about a thousand acres this year of flowers. Cool. When I do corn, it's like a hundred. Hundred okay. acres. How much of the uh, flower plant pays you? Huh? How much does the flower plant pay you? Oh, I don't pay me nothing. I just like <laughs> the scenery. <laughs> well, yeah. You almost lose the whole truck. <laughs> him to mess up that tree. He ain't worried about his head. I'll put you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> help, uh, my helper hits him in the head, keeps him up. <laughs> Those long cages. Oh yeah, that's a lot of work, man. Seven foot. Wow. It's that or don't fish right now. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. We're at least in this area for sure. Tell you what, that Kindle guy is pretty smart. Hey. Yeah. I think he's figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> you tell a lot of people yeah. how to do it, but they're still not gonna What's come do it again. What's the story behind that? Tequila bottle right there. That's when I was young in my prime. I used to drink tequila. Now I drink four <laughs> like <laughs> I can't drink that no more. Yeah, but you're about to bag them. I I'm gonna need, need, I'm I'm need, I'm need, I'm need some nuggets. If y'all see, I'm repping Kip's shirt today. Show them the back of this shirt. Right, it's running. How about Kip's. the back of this? Nice. Got Can't the you number. See Look, guys. For your crab, shrimp, yeah. crawfish. One call. That's all. Dude, Kip's gonna catch it. All right. Who's Kip? We got it done. I'm Flip. <laughs> Kip's my twin brother. Get back here, you gotta have a Honda. You can't come with a Mercury. And Bowser and Mercury, they can't make it this far. Come on. No, they break down before they get here. <laughs> so they all learn, you're all get, getting some Hondas now. It's so bad you can't even get a Honda, you gotta order them. Everybody's buying a Honda. A workhorse, it's yeah. quiet too, man. You don't even hear that thing. If running. I could find a woman like that, I'd marry her. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's a gator over there. Let me see if I can zoom up on him. Small one. My watchman. Your watchman? Yeah, he's watching my trap. <laughs> He even started chewing the traps and gators. Really? I've never seen that in my life. No, sometimes you're attacking traps, chew it. Mess it all up. Never used to see it. I bet, especially with them crawfish on the top, that's it. Oh, looks like an easy clothes. meal. Oh, yeah, hard, that day. Those walks are gonna start coming in, huh? They out. They out? I saw some with 15 walks on a nest. Oh, They're Lord. coming out down. You See gotta be careful. Rain, multiply. Right. You ever got stung by a bunch of them? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'll go the whole year and I get stuck. Cut my trees early in the season. Oh, okay. To prevent that. Yeah. Some of them guys, they don't cut their branches and them walls take that. You hit them with the boat. You hit that, that tree, the nest on it. Look it. They're look coming it. for you. And I like to trip that before the walls come out. Right. They used to be to put some balls back around over there. They look like Muhammad Ali. No, they look like Muhammad Ali jumped on them. <laughs> it was walls. Oh, they wouldn't no. cut their trees, you know? Right. 
me, I'll never get stung. That's I, maintenance. I you trim, can, yeah, you trim the trim that trees early, you know. Don't wait till the walls come out to do it. Right. If you hit that tree with your boat, it shakes that nest, it coming for you. Right. You gotta do your homework. I thought I always made effort to do this. Look at this, guys. They look ten pounder. They look tender. Yeah, they're tender, tender. That's my sack for tonight. Boy, we're gonna eat good tonight, guys. Oh yeah. We're gonna go home. We're gonna ball these up. I can't eat too much out of a job tonight. I gotta go to work. You gotta go to work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at here. Let me get a close up on that. That's the crowbars I ship. The lobsters. Ship across country or what? All over. Anywhere. Whoever wants it. Whoever huh? wants it. You catch them year round. When the farms quit, I'm still catching them. We're gonna we gotta spread that number out. We're gonna put your number all over the place. Ten or eleven months a year, I'll catch them. Yeah. I'll miss one or two months out of the year. We'll let no we'll let people know how to contact. Them, sure. Yeah. Call me anytime. Put the crawfish in there. Get around you. I'm gonna get a little. Flip. Get a full sack. Well, they fill it up quick. Yeah. You see the back of that shirt? Is that the same thing on the back yeah. of mine? You got all color short sleeves. Yeah. You sell shirts. No, or I'll you just them. give a few away? I'll give them to my friends. I got like two. <laughs> you don't need to stock too many. I bought like two shirts and that's it a year. <laughs> you told me one. How much you want another horse race? Horse race? Yeah, you said uh, I'll do not in now until one or so. You told me you wanted 100,000. Yeah, it's almost 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? The Kentucky Derby. Oh, a long shot one. It was oh, 80, no. 80 to one. Dude, I that did was... like a thousand. I won like a ninety-nine thousand dollars. Yeah, lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he did. Come on, man. You wouldn't be fishing right yeah. now. You'd be taking so, a little break. So Randy was right there. I said, Randy, uh, how much you won? She said a lot. So I didn't know if to believe it or not, you know. So the next <laughs> time I see him out, I said, man, you remember told me how much you, you want all that money? <laughs> Yeah, you can't believe me. <laughs> I mean, more than when I used to be a jockey. <laughs> oh, you were a jockey too? Yeah, I was a jockey when I was a kid. You ride the two, then three shoes of horses, yeah? Ten sacks, we're headed back. Hit the 
cavitation plate. It's, it comes all the way to about right here, you see? Right, oh, it's, right. all, it's all broken off. <laughs> Doesn't live. Dang. Yeah. And it keeps running. Oh, yeah. You can't stop it. Totally Since I lost this right here, it backs up more in the lilies. It pulls more. So I might cut it some more, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Take my saw. <song. laughs> Iberia Marine, that's it. Give him a plug. His name is Ryan. Call Ryan. Tell him I sent you. He knows me real well. All right, we're back at Kip's place. I'm going to show you guys his cooking trailer. Look how nice this thing is. He does these catering jobs. Hey, uh, right here. Look, here's another guys. Oh, 400 pounds at a time. 400 pounds? 400 pounds. If y'all need a catering job done, y'all give Kip a call. I had the number. We'll show we do the number crab again. and shrimp year round. Whenever you want it, just call me. We'll line it up. Awesome. Here's the airboat we talked about going in, huh? Is that the That's airboat? It. We're going to go do a crawfish trip in the airboat at some point when the water gets low and you can't get in there with a regular boat. That'll be a little bit different. That'll be cool. Yeah. That's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> get him with that. They can't hide. You can get in there. Oh, yeah. You know where you want to get. It's got another boat here. How many boats you have? I have a shrimp boat, too. Okay, yeah, the shrimp boat's yeah. not here. Two skips, an air boat, and a shrimp boat. The feet skip. Roger that. Two shrimp, too. All right, well, I'm going to head back to the house. We'll see you tonight at the crawfish bar. You got it, buddy. Appreciate the it's trip. Time to drink. Oh, we're going to start at 5.30. We're going to start drinking. Yeah, I hadn't drank in a long time. <laughs> like 10 hours. <laughs> We didn't have one yet. I'm like you. We don't drink while we fishing or crabbing. We don't mess with that when we work it. Uh, we punch work. out, we put the music on, now it's time to drink. Then you can have a few. That's that sounds it. good. <laughs> half the bag of this. Bro. Four and a half ounces. Yeah, measure that. I'm a cook that don't measure nothing. Use some Louisiana crab ball. I'm gonna go with half of this bag for the vegetables. Got the onions cut, small potatoes. Uh, we'll get that going. We'll put the sausage and the corn in. Potatoes are getting softer. We're gonna go ahead and put the corn. We're gonna try that robado sausage, man. I hear that's some good stuff. And I... All this sweet corn did come out the garden. Okay, when it comes up to a rolling ball, we're gonna go two to three minutes. All right, we went two to three minutes. We're gonna cool it down. We're gonna add some ice to it. Okay, the ice stops the cooking process and makes the crawfish super juicy. Okay, the crawfish will still be hot. This is not gonna make them cold. All right, we let them soak a few minutes. the water, but we're going to add a little bit more. Add a little 
Tender raw is in there and they get even better. Sometimes I can't wait 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright, get a quick number two in. Side number two. God showed me that. Dude, I, I like them all kind of ways. God showed me this. It's good. Makes it sweet. You know, really, it adds maybe a little bit of sweetness to it. Yeah. If, if somebody don't see you put it, they would never know. It's going to just melt into the... Man, they got people putting the jalapenos in here, and I've eaten them like that and loved it, and they put a bunch of garlic. And that's good too. Uh -huh. However, they serve them. I'm going to eat it. Let's try one out. batch of crawfish we're gonna add some shrimp in this batch we turn the fire off we'll let them soak probably 10 minutes shrimp will be cooked perfect crawfish will be juicy look, look the weather coming guys look over here the rain now I'm not complaining my corn needs some water look at this come see yeah I hadn't showed this on my channel lately, but I'm about to get a star. I got the bomb, but Kendall got me a whip. <laughs> Look, he 
cleaned it out pretty good. Yeah. Like you left a couple of little bitty well, pieces. Well, I left a couple for the mosquitoes. Put that in the trap. in that neighborhood, probably come up missing. <laughs> well, put that in the trap next Put that one in the trap. Yeah, yeah, put it on the side. Put it in the trap. What time make a pass in my head out? What then you headlight? Uh, oh, come on, not about midnight when he's sleeping. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm still my car, though. Them crawfish are weird. <laughs> Hey, how young we gonna be? I'll be uh 29. Dude, I'm, I'm not 30. Would, yeah, <laughs> but the break on 30. Next year I'll be knocking on 29. 30. Some of the best I've been in a while. It was delicious. Four fish, ten times this year. Best one I've had. Delicious. Bring us a move to my wife.